Hello, and welcome back to another episode of Digimon Survive here at Lavender Bee Cafe. <clears throat> My name is Jason. Um, we are getting back into the mystery of what is happening here on this game of Digimon Survive. Uh, <clears throat> you know, last time we were being attacked by those mysterious creatures uh, who we believe to be the Kimono Kimonogami. Um, and during that time, we actually seem to have fallen into a hole, you know, a landslide, something. Um, that was the last thing that we saw of uh, Takuma here. Um, <clears throat> so we're going to jump back into that adventure here and see what is going on. See if we can figure out um, what is happening here at this shrine, um, if everyone's okay, and if we can get out. Because it's getting a little scary now. So Takuma seems like he's coming to. Okay, we're still in the forest, it looks like. Ow! Am I safe? Am I below the shrine? It looks like I got caught in a landslide or something. Oh, hey, everyone, is everyone okay? Ouch, my head, it's pounding. I can't see anyone. Looks like they aren't here. Maybe I should take a look around. Let's. All I can do is look around for now. Okay. So we've got overgrown spider lilies and deep forest. Oh, uh, <clears throat> I thought, I guess I don't have my phone on me. So let's look at the spider lilies. The ground's collapsed all around here, but none of my friends are around. I should check out other places. They are not here. What a relief. That means they weren't caught up in the landslide. I should check out other places. I don't see anyone here. Maybe I can find some trace of them in a different area. I should check out other places. Let's go look. I can hear those sounds from before. Is it those stone monsters? Oh no, they're coming this way. I have to get the heck out of here. I'm back at the shrine. Huff, huff. Okay, yes. I don't think they're following me. I made it back to the shrine somehow. Which is where they were. I feel like that's the last place you want to be. No one's here. Not a single person. Oi! Hey! Minoru! Owie! Is anybody here? No responses. Where the heck did they... Oh. Maybe I can get one of them on the phone. I'll call Minoru. No service here? Dang, my phone is useless. Well, might as well take a picture. What? Did something just move? Move just now? Uh oh. Oh man, something's in here. Is it that rock monster again? The sound disappeared. It doesn't look like it's trying to jump me. Whatever it is. Jump at it or carefully move closer. Let's jump at it. I'll just jump right at it. Maybe I can beat whatever it is if I take it by surprise. Ready? And... Yeah! Huh? It's gone. Where in the world? Hey, some of the grass is moving over there. Something's in there. I can't see anything, but something's there, isn't there? Hmm. This reminds me of the last time. Wait. What 
did mean a crusade. <clears throat> Go right up to it. I can't see it, but I know it's there. Maybe I'll know what it is if I touch it? I'm a little scared, but I've just got to check it out. <clears throat> Careful now. Huh? Nothing's here. Wait, some tracks were left in the grass here. Did it run when I got close? Hmm. Is there a way to check it out without getting close? That's right. He picked up a presence with his phone camera. Why don't I take a picture? Right, I'll give it a shot. Ooh, cute. Whoa, what the heck was that just now? It was just a moment, but I definitely saw something. So let me see it. Still, I don't know what I'll do if something attacks me again. Nothing will come of just sitting here. I'll look around with my phone. See what I can find. Try and try and get Okay. So cameras are two. So over here. How can I focus more? Nothing here, huh? <clears throat> so it's just distorted. Ooh. Hmm? Nothing here, huh? I guess not. Okay, I don't see any other things over here. So this was where it seemed to have been last time. <clears throat> I just want to check. <gasps> Adorable. What, what the heck is that? Some kind of creature? Doesn't seem like that rock thing from before. Hope it's a bit friendlier. Wait, come back. Oh, it's gone. Don't tell me it plans to attack from the shadows somewhere. I'll survey other spots with my camera. Haha. -ha. I found it. That thing from before. It's right over there, no doubt about it. What should I do? It doesn't look hostile, but still. Wee. Man, did it vanish again? This thing's quick on its feet. At least I think it has feet. I'll survey other spots with my camera. And then I feel like this is the last place to look. It's getting closer. Bingo. There it is. Whoa, it's closer now. Ah. What is this thing? Hey, that's my lane. Wait, you're... It talks? Shoo! Back off, dang it! I've never seen anything like this before. What the heck is it? Seriously, what's this thing's deal? I'm not a thing, I'm Koroman. I've been waiting for you, old buddy, old pal. Koroman? Sorry, but that pal talk rubs me the wrong way. The name's Takuma, okay? Anyway, just back off for a sec, will you? Takuma? That's your name? Nice to meet you, Takuma. That doesn't answer my question. No, more importantly, what do you mean you were waiting for me? Yeah, for ages. Like, such a long time, pal. Why? How? Well, that's easy. You see, uh... 
Hey, why was I waiting? What's with this thing? It understands me, but I wouldn't call this a conversation. Anyway, it doesn't seem to mean me any harm, I think. You took the words right out of my mouth. At any rate, I see you're not human. That's what I am, a human, and a young one at that. A young human? I've never seen one before. You're kinda weird looking, aren't you? Still, I'm glad I got to meet you. Mm -hmm. oh, it's so cute. I've been craving something, you see. I've been waiting forever and ever. Craving? What do you mean? Anyway, you're the one for me. It's like I've been waiting for you forever. What do you mean? I don't get it. Listen up, uh, Koromon, was it? Stop treating me like some kid, alright? I'm already in junior high. What's a junior high? Well, uh, it basically means I'm an adult. Huh, adults are smaller than I figured. Anyway, my point is I'm not a kid. Why not? You seem pretty childish to me. Why else would you get upset over every little thing? Valid. Shut up! I've had enough. Back off already. Wait, Takuma! First thing first, I've got to shake off this weird critter somehow. I'll try and get away from the shrine. Puff, puff. Okay, I think I finally lost it. Still, what the heck was that thing? I've never seen anything like it. But the really weird thing is, I wasn't all that scared of it. I mean, it was so small, and it talked like a kid. Plus, it was so buddy-buddy. Heck, the fact that it talked at all is weird enough on its own, right? Maybe I was sleepwalking or something? Hmm. Maybe I should look around more. What the? Something is moving in the grass. <gasps> Holy, it's that rock monster that attacked us before. I can't believe one was here. Dang, I can't get away. It's too close. Tip enemy encounters. You may encounter enemies whenever you investigate distortion in camera mode. For these battles, oh. What should I do? Can't let my guard down. Maybe I should just wait and see what it does? This body is made of stone. I have to watch out when it charges. Still, when I look closely, it doesn't seem all that strong. I feel like it's sitting flying last time. Oh shoot, spoke too soon. Ow. Ouch. What the heck, man? Son of a... It looks like it's going to charge again. Run! Is that Koromon? This thing's got an axe to grind with you. Hurry up and get out of here. Oh jeez, my legs are... I'll try to hold it off so you can get away. Here I go! Wow! Boy, you're weak, like super weak. You're the one that should be running. But I've got to protect you, Takuma. Aww. Ah. Ugh, it's no use. Oh man, this is bad. Kromon will be in trouble if this keeps up. I can't believe that tiny little thing's risking its life to protect me. I know, I can't just run off on my own and let it fight to the death. But what? We're gonna protect Koromon. I won't let you. Not bad, Takuma, but that might not be the best idea. Go, Koromon. At least one of us should escape. No way, I can't just leave you behind, Takuma. 
I guess that makes two of us then, huh? Oh, now that you mention it. <laughs> yeah, I'm not gonna let anyone hurt my new little friend. And a bit of a pinch, but you know what? I can't afford to laugh. What can I say? Suddenly I feel like I can do it. I'm gonna go for it, Takuma. Huh? What are you saying? Just watch, Takuma. I told you I'd protect you, and I meant it. Kormon evolved to... <gasps> oh my gosh. Akuman. Gatsumon defeated. Lost condition or win condition Gatsumon defeated. Lost condition Agumon dies. Each battle has its own win condition and loss condition. You can also change the difficulty of a battle. When you're in a fight you just can't win, you may want to try changing the difficulty. Do hard. Start battle. This might have been a bad time, but to do uh, <laughs> difficult. But I want to try it hard. This is a crucial battle, so it will help to exercise some caution. Defending is an important aspect of battle. End your turn without attacking or use an item to defend. Defending reduces frontal attack damage by half. Attacks from the side or rear are unaffected. Try defending this situation. Choose in turn. Rockfist. Defending against the enemy's skill reduces his damage by half. No way. Increases my SP. Not only did this significantly lower the damage you took, it also wasted the opponent's SP. Since the enemies attacked this turn, it can't defend. Make the most of this opportunity. <clears throat> Unleash your skill now that the enemy is defenseless. Choose the attack command, then select Pepper Breath from the skill list. Oh, I will. Ooh. During battle, it's important to keep attacks and defense in mind when you take your turns. So, because I'm trying to think, like, if I end my turn now, does that mean that it's going to defend? Side. Because it shouldn't be affected by his guard, right? Yeah! That wasn't too bad. Victory! Alright, we won our first battle. Oh, we have levels. <clears throat> okay, so let's see here. We have max HP went up by 11. Max SP went up by 8. That's good. Physical attack went up to 92. Physical defense went up to 59. Special attack went up to 99. <clears throat> so it looks like our special attack is our strongest. Um, special defense is 57. Speed is 37. Okay. I, I mean, we're pretty close as far as like physical attack and special attack, but our special attack is just a little bit more but it also looks like special defense and physical defense is different too. So we'll have to think about that. <clears throat> Ooh. 
Physical attack, special attack, plus one. Looks like sparks. Does this affect attacking power somehow? I don't know if... I guess I'll take that. I don't know if that's a permanent thing or like just an in-battle thing. Incredible, I really beat that monster? And what's with his appearance? This is the same Quormon as before, right? <clears throat> as you explore and earn rewards in battle, you'll obtain various items and equipment. Equipable items in particular can improve your abilities and let you use skills. Looks like you found an equipable item. Let's try equipping it now. Oh, right. <coughs> Press Options button to open the pause menu. Items need to be equipped from the status screen, so open the status menu. The screen shows your team members' abilities and equipment, plus their evolution level. Press X to see more detailed information on a monster. Use L1 and R1 to change categories. Go to Equipment. The pause menu has also several other options including Save, Load, Settings, and Field Guide. Be sure to check out all these menus to really get the most out of the game. Ooh, so we can go lots of different evolutions. Interesting. Okay. So let's try potency. So it looks like it's going to be going up more than just plus one, plus one. Okay. Stats, item, and field item unlocked. We were also able to win thanks to you, Takuma. You were a beast out there, Koroma. I thought you were crazy to fight that thing, but then you freaking took it out. Not Koroma, silly. Right now I'm Agumon. Agumon? I thought you said Koroma. Yep, I was Koroma before. Now I'm Agumon. Okay, I really don't get it. But anyway, you really saved my bacon back there. I owe you one. <laughs> that goes double for me, Takuma. You got me out of a tight spot back there, and I could only evolve thanks to you. Thanks to me? But I didn't do anything. That's not true. I can't explain it, but when I'm with you, I feel all this power swelling up inside of me. Thanks so much, Takuma. What do you mean? Is that what made you transform? Seriously, what the heck's going on here? It's me! Right, makes sense. I guess it's my fault for asking you in the first place. <laughs> You're too kind. What about that sounded like kindness? Man, everyone's gonna freak out when they see you. Everyone, that's right. I have to go look for them. Everyone? Who's that? Oh, we mean all my friends. A weird chain of events brought us to the Shrine Sea. We all ended up together at one point, but a landslide separated us again. Is that right? If they aren't around here, then maybe they went back to the school already. Well, first things first. I have to make it back to the school building. But I have no idea where I am in these woods. The fog doesn't help, that's for sure. Hey, don't go into the fog, Takuma. The fog? Huh? I didn't really notice before, but I think the fog got thicker. I'm not going because I want to. Even without it, I'd have trouble figuring out where I am. If we're attacked by that weird thing again, it won't end well for us. I wonder how likely another attack would be anyway. Hard to tell. Hey, Agumon, about that rock monster thing. Is that a friend of yours or what? First I've ever seen a thing like that. Is this the true nature of the Kimonogami? Know it? No way. I'd never be friends with someone who just bum rushes you like that. Oh, I didn't mean like a friend friend, just... First of all, I'd never attack kids the way they do. 
All I'm asking is how you guys are connected, that's all. Wait, they? Don't tell me there are others out there besides that rock thing. Oh yeah, tons and tons. Big ones, tough ones, one that's fly, fast ones, fuzzy ones, you name it. Of course there are good ones and bad ones out there too. Tons and tons, you say. I feel a headache coming on. There's tons of things like that out there. This is my first time hearing about this, and definitely my first time seeing it. And there's a bunch of different types too. What's going on? Maybe something happened back at the shrine to the Kimonogami? Like we accidentally broke some sort of seal on the place or something? That could have released those bizarre creatures into the world, right? That reminds me, Mia was talking about some retribution thing back there, wasn't she? No way, I thought that kid just had a weird sense of humor. Still, it doesn't feel weird to be with this talking creature. It's almost as if I've known this little guy for a long, long time. Did the fall do something to my head? Hmm? What's wrong, Takuma? Well, I was wondering what to do. This place shouldn't be that far from the shrine. I doubt that rock monster went and beat up everyone in our group back there. One of my friends might still be around here. Monster isn't right. That rock guy, for example, he's Gatsuman. Oh, so all of you have names? Got it. Wait, I swear I've heard a story like this before. Oh yeah, the professor mentioned a name back at the mural in the shrine. So these things really are the Kimonogami after all. Now, let's see, I think we should head back to the school for now. I want to look for my friends along the way. Would you mind helping me, Akuman? Yeah, I'm with you, Takuma. Alright, let's go. Ah! Was that a scream I just heard? Yeah, it sounded like a human. I heard it coming from over there. That voice. I swear it sounded like Minoru, over by the shrine. Okay, let's go. Yeah! Nice. I reflexively started running when I heard Minoru cry out. At that point, I hadn't given much thought to the situation I'd found myself in. About the mysteries, mysterious creature Agumon, or the place I'd wandered into. Who knew things would turn out like this? An adventure with our lives on the line. Okay. So I think we're about to wrap up here. Uh, this will be episode 3 of uh, Digimon Survive. We have found Agumon. He is now our friend, and we participated in our first real battle and won. So I'm pretty excited to see how this goes. Um, this is turning out to be a little bit more of a visual novel um, than more of a tactical RPG. Uh, but I'm hoping we're going to have a lot more battles uh, coming up soon because it has been a lot of fun. So hopefully this will... Uh, maybe pick up in some action but I'm really enjoying the mystery so far and I hope you guys are enjoying it as well um, I couldn't have imagined it back then if I tried that's it see you all next time